Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can take a book from the Intuy library and make a reading comprehension activity for Google Slides. Okay, so if you're not familiar with how to get to the Intuy library, when you log into Unique Learning System, just go to the menu and click right down here on Intuy library. All right, so the book I'm going to show you this with is called A Place for Me. You can just type it in, search. And the reason I'm choosing a place for me is because it has three differentiated levels. So the activity that we're using, we can um, use it for all different levels. And if anything, you really only will have to slightly modify it. And so it actually will save you um, quite a bit of work. Okay, so once you pull up your book and make sure that you have your um, Google slide presentation ready. So just open up a blank slide. And then we're gonna to wanna to make sure that our, um, our slide is uh, uh, set to the right page setup. So we're gonna scroll down to page setup and we're gonna change that to custom settings at 11 by eight and a half. Okay, and then your title, a place for me. And I'm gonna put dash C, because this is level C. And then you can always come up here. Um, this is something that I might not have shown in the past, or maybe I have, I, I'm actually a huge fan of this. This is for organizing. And in fact, I'm, I need to do a tutorial on this. I keep saying I'm going to do it um, right over here. Click this, this is your filing cabinet. So here I have my Google Classroom. Um, I'm gonna make a folder called uh, N2Y Tutorials. And then I'm gonna come over here, maybe be a little more um, precise, ELA. And uh, that's good for now move here. So now when I want to find this, it will be in Intuy Tutorials ELA. For me, that's where this is going. Um, for you, unless you're doing a tutorial with this, you can put it in wherever you want. But this is a great way to start organizing before you complete your activity. Just awesome idea. It saved me um, from having a hot mess in my Google folders. Okay, so moving on. A place for me, this is ready to go. Um, all right, so let's pull up this book. So here it is, I'm downloading this book. You can do it either in iDoc or PDF. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do PDF today. And we wanna be able to see the whole book. If you click um, to expand it to whole page, it'll be perfect. Now you're gonna use your clipping tool to uh, take a picture of this more or less, make a PNG. We're gonna, or it, the snipping tool. I recommend to put your snipping tool down here in your toolbar so it's always accessible. Now you can choose uh, whether you want to uh, keep the copyright or if you just want to have the title and the author, if you want to have the level, whatever you want, do that. So I always have this thing up and running so I'm just gonna click Control N for new and I am going to snip right here, get the author and the title. All right, and then control C, as in cat, to copy it. Okay, so I'm gonna come back over here. Now let's say that I want a border for this. I'm going to change my background to blue. And I'm actually going to duplicate the slide. Now you can duplicate it like that. Let me paste this here. All right, but I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna hit Control C to copy and Control V to paste, because I'm gonna have multiple slides and I want them all to be blue. You don't have to do this. You can have it whatever color you want um, or not have a color. All right, so I'm gonna put this, make sure this is centered and you can use your guiding lines and stretch it out or leave it however you want to do it okay so there is my picture again you can take a larger picture of it so it maybe is even um your choice though it doesn't matter uh, whatever works for you okay now i 
you don't want this to be moved. So what you wanna make sure that you do is download this as a PNG. And right here, you'll see I clicked in between here. Sometimes it's hard to do that. You might wanna switch to this view. It's so much easier to click in between. You get more space. But when you do that, you're gonna click Control M, as in mom, or you can even just go up to slide and click new slide. I don't like clicking buttons. I like to press buttons. All right, so then you can go back to this view. And then you're gonna delete this stuff and you need this slide because you're going to download this one as a PNG. And you need to do that because it will make it so that you have this slide, but things don't move around. All right, so once you are ready for that, you've downloaded it, it's right here. We're gonna change this background to a new image, which is the one you just downloaded. Okay, why are we not? There we go. You're gonna drag and drop, and it is done. Now, two things to think about. If you think at all that you might wanna change this, maybe you decide, uh, actually, I don't like having a thicker edge over here and it being thinner here. I might wanna change that then do not delete the slide yet. If you are satisfied and fine with it being like this, go ahead and delete this. But if you think you might wanna change it, leave it because you'll see now we cannot delete this, can't move it. All right, so if you're fine with it, get rid of that slide. Now you've got this. Okay, so then the next step is we need to start making some questions for this. I've already put this book either into my, my students uh, student view so that they can read this book or I've downloaded it as a PDF and attached it into my Google Classroom and assigned it as reading. Or you can actually put this as a Google slide and like I did with this, maybe what you've done is you've actually taken whole pictures of the entire book and put that into Google Slides and had the students read it there. Maybe you decided to record your own voice reading the whole story for them. You can do that too. You can have a two-part lesson. Maybe the first activity in your Google Slides assignment is you just reading the story, in which case you would actually take and then uh, you would snip the entire page. But of course, see how I don't go outside the edge? Because if I did, it would cut the picture. See here you have the whole picture. Otherwise, it would go, you'd get this whole gray image and you don't want to do that. So either way, either way you want to assign the book, you are just, you're going to be making questions. Okay, so let's look at the first page. My house, job, and community, these are places for me. Okay, great page, but not something I wanna make a question of. Second page, I want a house. What do you want? A house, ooh, hey, good question. So this is a good page to make a comprehension question of. So what I can do, I have a few options. I can just make a, uh, I can take snips. Now. You can either take pictures of every page that you wanna do a question of, and let me show you. And you can also choose to snip the border or to snip inside the border and make your own border. And let me show you, we're gonna go over here. And you can also save this for directions. That actually is a good idea. Um, so I'm gonna skip this because the second box is gonna be my direction box. I'm going to paste this and I'm going to center this picture. And if you want the picture larger, you can always stretch it larger, um, but leave it as this size for right now. Okay. So then I'm going to, um, what you can do if you want is you can come down here, maybe to the bottom, snip all of your pictures from all of your pages. So you get all of your snips at once. That's one way to do it. You can do that. Take the snip, copy, and paste them all here. You could do that, or you could do them one at a time. Whatever works for you. But for today, I'm just gonna show you how to do the first page um, because this does take time and I don't want you to have to sit here for a tutorial to do a complete, the, the whole thing, because you don't need to watch me do the entire thing. I'm just gonna do the first page and then I'll show you one that is complete. Okay, 
So here we go. Let's do a question. All right, so I'm gonna take this text box here and get my font. I like to, all right, let's just do Robo. Oh, Comfortata. All right, and I'm going to put it at font 30 and I'm gonna go bold here. Okay, so maybe I'm going to, this is just straight comprehension. So what do I want? And I'm going to put a line. Now, I'm gonna move this down just a little bit. I'm gonna need some space. I'm gonna come over here to the line tool and I'm gonna draw a line. And then I'm gonna make that line thick so they see where the line is. I don't want it gray, I want it black. There we go. And if you want these words larger, of course we can change the font, move over the line. In fact, I think that font, why is my, I think the font is gray as well. Is it black? No, it is black. Okay, so now I need to give them options. Now, what you can use and what I've used before is symbol sticks. Symbol sticks is great because those are the types of pictures that are in your book. So go to symbol sticks and make a board in symbol sticks. I would need to give you an entire tutorial on how to use symbol sticks if you're not sure how to use symbol sticks. But if you're checking out my channel, which you are, cause you're here, there is an actual uh, tutorial on symbol sticks. So go check it out if you need to know how to do it. Now I have already, um, just for time's sake, I've actually clipped some pictures and saved them. So I'm gonna actually open those up right now. And I'm going to just take a PNG of those and put them here into, okay. Let's see, where am I at? Into our book. All right, so here is our option. What do I want? Is it a dog? What's another option? Let's try a video game. Oh, snipping tool would be good. And so there's another option. Okay, and then I'm gonna shrink this guy down to this one. And I wanna make sure it's about the same size. And let's get one more house. Because I believe the option was house. I want a place to live. And you can also cut the words if you need, or you can in simple sticks, adjust it so that it says what they want. And it has the specific wording that you're looking for. Okay, so go back to your story. I want a house, there you go, there's your story. And here's your, here are your options. And you can spread them out however you want. And if you want to add audio, you can add audio to read your options. Uh, I recommend not reading the, um, well, you can read the questions if you want. I mean, you do however you want to do it. Um, but this is your reading comprehension activity. And then you just go through each page that you want to do, take the snip, and then you can ask questions. I want a place to live. I can eat at my house. I can sleep at my house. So then maybe a question, what can I do at my house? What can, and then it can be one of these. You just wanna make sure that obviously you don't give both answers unless you're looking for both answers. And you can adjust it. Um, if you're doing level A, maybe you just have that one answer so that it's an errorless learning. Um, okay, so then let me show you what one looks like um, already that is just, that only has, it's already pulled up. Let's see, where is this at? 
I already have one. Let me show ya. There's so many windows pulled up here. Okay, here we go. All right, so this is one that I made and it has directions and it has the audio that tells you the directions. A place for me. After reading the story on Into Why, please complete this activity. Okay, so then here's the first um, page which tells you the directions and here's your first page with the first question and then your next page and your next and so on and so forth. And then it tells you what to do when you're done. So that's it folks, that's how you do it. Um, I recommend doing this. It does take a little bit of time, but like I said, you do one and then you can adjust it. If you save one that's edited or that's not, um, that you didn't make um, PNGs and download, you can use that to edit um, and have it as a template. So um, it's, I enjoy making this stuff. Um, I hope you enjoy making this stuff as much as I do. And I hope this tutorial was helpful. All right. Thanks so much for watching.